Let's make some witchy wall decor. Keep watching. All right, so I'm just going to take this little wreath that I thrifted from Goodwill. I'm going to add some black chalkboard paint that came from Target. Of course, you know I got it from Dirt Cheap. I'm going to remove the cording. And I'm going to just clean this off. Give it a good little sand and then wipe the residue off. And then use my foam brush to give it a coat of the paint. I gave it one coat, let it dry, and then gave it one more coat and let that dry thoroughly also. I'm going to take this sanding block from the Dollar Tree and just go around the edges. I should have been a little bit neater. I got some on the sides, but that's okay. And I'm going to take some sparkly stickers that I've had forever. You can get stickers from anywhere. Dollar Tree, Michael's, Hobby Lobby, anywhere you want. I'm just going to use my ruler here to help me get a close to straight line and put out my word spooky on here. It's not perfect, but you know, nothing really is in crafting and that's okay. It make, makes it unique and personal. And I'm okay with that. We shouldn't beat ourselves up about the small things, right? Give yourself some grace. Okay, and believe it or not, I pretty much got the measurements right there. Yay for me. All right, so these came from Target um, last year and I actually got those from Dirt Cheap this year. Just going to place them down gently so I can see where I want everything to go. I do this with almost every project I do. I don't always start off with a clear idea in my head of what I want to do. I just get the, some things together and just play around till I find what feels right. Also, the little broom that you see there came in a pack from Dirt Cheap that originally came from Target. And there are some stickers from the same sheet that I used on my reversible pumpkins. Just trying to decide what I want to do here. So this little bat is gonna make a cute hat band for the witch's hat. You don't have to use these wood stickers or 3D stickers. You can use whatever you have, whatever you want. I'm gonna use a little hot glue here. I did cut that broomstick down some so that it would fit on the plaque. pulling off the spider webs. I guess I could have left them since it's the witch's broom. All right, these are 12 inch strips of some random ribbon and I'm going to fold them in half so that I have six inch pieces. I'm just going to make a little stacked bow there to go on the top. You've seen me make these before. This is so easy. You don't have to put them in order but again in my mind, it makes more sense if I do this, so I do it. Take a piece of string and just bunch them up toward the center and tie a few knots to make sure that it is secure and trim off your excess. Now I'm just pulling those apart some, fluffing them out a little bit, and that's going to be the top, and it is going to cover up the hole that I have in the top of that plaque where the hanger originally was. So I'm just putting it around there and pressing it right down. You want to be sure that you're holding that still if you're fluffing your bow or you will pull it right off if it's not glued down yet. 
Okay, so I put a little pumpkin sticker right in the center with some hot glue. You didn't see that part. And then I'm taking the letters E, E, K to put eek on the bottom. There she goes. All right, then I've taken a chalk marker here and I'm just making little dots around to sort of frame this out. I think it looks cute with the, the polka dot ribbon that I have on the top. I think it coordinates well and it just makes it stand out a little bit. Gives it a little extra something. Just little dots. These don't have to be perfect. You can do dots, X's, little slashes, or you can just leave them alone and just be done with it. All right, so I still felt like I needed a little more. So I'm just going to put some little dots around my words and around the other stickers. It just makes it a little more personal and it turns out really adorable. So I don't like the scary stuff for Halloween. I like the cute stuff, I like the, the happy stuff, the cheerful festive stuff. Yeah, so that's it. That's the final right there. You can put your little piece of cord on the back so you can hang it and you're good to go. Be sure you subscribe, I've got more coming. Thanks for watching and give me a thumbs up if you're enjoying these Halloween videos. I'll see you soon. Bye.